this video, I'll explain the results of a previous video involving frictionless carps. In that video, there were two carps, both pulled by horizontal strings with certain amounts of force, and then I could also change the mass of the carps. Now in test one, the carps had equal mass, but cart B had a larger force pulling it horizontally. We tested it, cart B had the bigger acceleration. It went faster. They both started at rest, and they both increased in speed as they went, but the acceleration for cart B was greater. From that, we can conclude that acceleration is affected by force, and more so, we can conclude that acceleration is some type of proportional to force, either directly or inversely. And so, in this case, it's directly proportional, because as the force goes up, the acceleration goes up. In the second test, both carts had the same size horizontal force pulling them to the left. Cart B had more mass than cart A. And in the previous video, you can see the four bars, four metal bars that I placed into cart B, which was the one closer to me. In that test, cart A had the greater acceleration. And so then we can make a conclusion that acceleration does depend on the mass of the object, but we would not say that it is directly proportional. We would say it is, in fact, inversely proportional. As the mass of the object goes up, the acceleration decreases. Now, the third test was where I had different mass and different force. And that test could have turned out a variety of different ways as I did a little bit toward the end, I showed different ways that that could have turned out. Now, the primary way that I demonstrated first for test three was that both carts had the same acceleration, even though cart B had more mass, but it also had more force pulling on it, and so those two factors balanced out so that both carts had the same acceleration. Now, if cart B had way more force acting on it, it would have had the greater acceleration despite having the larger mass. Con uh, conversely, if cart B just had slightly greater force, then it would have had the smaller acceleration. So when you have two different things that are different, when both mass and force are different between the two carts, you don't necessarily know how it's going to turn out. But the main point that I'd like you to see from test three is that the acceleration of the two carts could be the same, even though their mass and forces are different. 